Hi, uh, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, in preparation for the ACT exam, we put together a couple practice problems to help you get ready. These are similar to the kind of questions that you'll see on the exam. So our first question here, um, this has to do with trigonometry, basic trigonometry. Uh, which of the following is equal to cotangent theta over cosine theta? All right, so how are we going to solve this? Um, cotangent theta, what's that? Cotangent is the inverse of tangent. Um, so that's going to be 1 over tangent. And remember, what is tangent? Tangent is sine over cosine. So if this is um, the inverse of tangent, it's going to be the other way around, cosine over sine. So now we see we can simplify this expression by canceling out cosine. And we're left with just 1 over sine. Now which of these uh, corresponds to this? 1 over sine is the same thing as cosecant. So our answer is A. And if you're unsure or have trouble remembering these trig identities, make sure to give them a look over before you start the ACT. All right, our next question has to do with rates, uh, rates of travel and miles per gallon and stuff like that. It's a car averages 22 miles per gallon, and if gas costs $4.11, which of the following is closest to how much it would cost this car to go 440 miles? Now, because the problem says closest, I'm guessing we're going to have something of an estimate here. Um, so these decimal values, 4.11, we might not have to do exact values for that which already that makes things slightly easier for us. Um, but if we want to go 440 miles and the car gets 22 miles per gallon, to, do, um, to figure out how many total gallons we need, we need to divide 440 by 22. So that's 440 miles over 22 miles per gallon. And these are fairly easy numbers to divide. 440 divided by 22, that's going to equal 20. And here, miles divided by miles per gallon is just equal to gallons. So it's going to take about 20 gallons, and gas costs roughly $4.11, or gas costs $4.11. Now, I'm looking at the answer choices, and I don't have a whole lot of time for this exam. And I'm saying 20 gallons times about $4 is going to equal about $80. So in our choices here, the one closest to $80 is number B, or letter B, $82.50. The other ones aren't even close, $44, $118, $200, So I'm going to go with answer B. We actually want to calculate this out. 20 times $4.11. The exact value is $82.20. So as we can see, that's really close. Finally, we have a uh, quadratic equations question. Which of the following quadratic equations has solutions x equals minus 2b and x equals 5a? So uh, for a quadratic equation to have these as the solutions, um, we know when these values are put in for x, the whole equation is going to equal 0. Um, so if we take these equations and move the 2b over to this side, we get x plus 2b equals 0, and x minus 5a equals 0. Now for an equation, a longer equation like this to equal 0, um, where it's two, two parts multiplied by each other, like that one, that one, I'll call it c and d. Either c equals 0 or d equals 0. So these are going to be our two factors, and we have to multiply them together. We're going to do this by foiling. I'm going to write down here. So 
So to FOIL, we first multiply firsts, then outers, then inners, then lasts. So multiply x by x, you get x squared. Multiply x by minus 5a, you guess, you get minus 5ax. That looks weird. Multiply x by 2b, you get positive 2bx. And 2b times minus 5a, you get minus 10ab. Now let's compare with our answers. I can already see that there are four terms in this sequence. So we can elim eliminate choice A, because that only has two terms. I also see that the last term is minus 10ab. So we can get rid of choice D, because that has positive 10ab. Beyond that, what these ones have done is factoring out an x. So if I look back at this equation, it's going to be x squared. Let's take an x out from both sides. Plus x times minus 5a plus 2b minus 10ab. So this one matches up with one of these. Um, this one has positive 5a and minus 2b, so it can't be that. This one they took out a minus x, whereas we took out a positive x, but it still could be the same. Let's check. But if we distribute this minus, it's minus 2b and minus 5a, whereas we have positive 2b. So it's not that one. Here we have positive x, positive 2b, and minus 5a. So everything checks out. And that's going to be our final answer. So I hope these problems were helpful to you. Make sure you're doing lots of problems on your own. You can find tons of examples online just like these. Um, and just make sure you get a good breakfast and good night's sleep on test day. So good luck with the ACT, and I hope this has been helpful.